tonight's shot to Haiti. The Haitian people have endured so much in the last month, and the road ahead is incredibly long. Uh, I want to show you some of my reporter's notebook tonight. The pictures are, are by uh, Jonathan Dragovnik from Getty Images, some of the, the thoughts we've had just in our time here in Haiti. It's been one month. Is it better? That's what most people ask. And of course, it is. It's not good, though, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's not even acceptable, but it is technically better. That's not saying much, though. Could not have gotten any worse. A lot of people who haven't been here probably think what happened is old news. I know people aren't as interested in hearing about it as much anymore. That always happens, but it's still hard to accept. Haitians, of course, are used to it. They're used to people losing interest in their plight. This time, they had hoped it would be different. It may feel like this is a month-old tragedy, but here on the ground, each day, it feels brand new. New struggles, new setbacks, new deaths, new horrors. Charlie, my producer, and my cameraman, Neil, and I have been here three weeks out of the four. The week I was gone, all I wanted to do was get back here. Here, nothing is wasted, nothing is fake. People look each other in the eye. They clasp your hand hard. Everything has been stripped away, gutted. I've started to pay attention to things no one wants to hear about. I saw a puddle of dried liquid on a concrete slab and a small mound of human hair. It was all that was left of someone. There are packs of dogs that roam the streets at night. People say they've seen them feed on corpses. You hear them barking, growling deep, fighting each other in the darkness. I see the good things here too, the love families have for one another, the strong faith, the resilience of people, but it's impossible to ignore that Port-au-Prince is still a graveyard. How many more dead are still buried in its rubble? I find myself crying at odd times. I'll be walking up a flight of stairs and suddenly realize there are tears in my eyes. I was speaking to someone I hadn't seen in a while. My voice cracked, my throat tightened. I can't even remember what I was talking about. It happens to everyone, I think. For the rest of the world, it's been one month. Here on the ground, it feels much longer. The clocks have stopped. The earth no longer spins. This place, these people, are once again forced to begin again. Again, the pictures by Jonathan Turgovnik. Our coverage continues here.